and welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be trying to play around with the Shastasaurus. But first, I got to get it bred together so that way we can get the most perfect one to play with. So as you guys know, I do got my genetic library. I do already got two Shastasaurus tamed up. And right now, we are currently trying to breed them together. So that way I can get the, all their good stats on one creature. Now, I did already manage to get one, um, and it is actually a pretty decent one. So, I do got one little problem, though, right now. I don't know what food they eat, like, at all. I have tried everything I have had on these two, and they will not eat. So, before I even trust this little thing to be outside of a cryopod, like, as of right now, it's actively dying because it needs food. Um... Yeah, so until I can actually find what it eat, eats, I'm not going to have it out of a cryopod. So first things first, let's actually find what they eat. Then we'll come back, we'll finish breeding them up. And then from there, we will uh, proceed to get our own personal Shastasaur and work on getting us a saddle for it. Now I'm pretty sure I'm just short on... I need to get me some Lazarus Chowder or... A scuba tank actually here before I leave. Also, I need to leave Lino. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get my own Shastasaur here, and I only need to get some electronics to get a saddle crafted up for it. So yeah, once we get that done, we will be cruising around in our own Shastasaur. Lino, I'll leave you here. And then what else did I come in here for? I'm honestly sorry. I'm like a little sketchy right now. Not sketchy. Uh, what is it called? spaced out i keep on like forgetting what i'm doing and i don't know why i've been just just got off work and it's been like this ever since i need i need to like focus up and figure out what i need to do i remember they need to start electronics where did i come in here oh yeah lazarus chowder or uh my diving equipment i'm going to leave that part all the way in the video just so that way you guys can see how scatterbrained i am right now so i am sorry if this where the hell is my scuba tank is it in one of these? Do you got anything in it? Yes, you do. Guessing, yep, my scuba tank's right here. I could also just run over here and check out and see if I got a Lazarus Chowder, which I do. You know what? Let's use the ladder, Lazarus, Ch Lazarus Chowders instead. I can't talk either. Damn. Um, Let's throw you just back in here. I'm pretty sure these are all my... Uh, yeah, no, these are all my uh, saddle blueprints that I have brought over. Not brought over. That I have, yeah, technically I brought them over, but I've made, um, with printer. My, uh, was it my helicopter on there? He's my little creature that I can use to turn, again, my really good ascendant gear into blueprints so I can craft it and make even more really good ascendant gear. Um, now, what we should do is go hop on Anomalacares, pop a Lazarus Chowder, and go get some food for the Shastasaurs, and then we will get right back to, uh, Where'd I park him? I'll find him, but we'll get right back to breeding them up. I Again, see? This is how spa like scatterbrained I am. I was looking for him in over here. I parked him next to the dock for some reason. I've never parked you next to the dock before. Although this is the first time I've ever used a water creature besides the Shastasaur since I built the dock. Also, boop. Okay, we are back. We got some raw fish meat here. Now, hopefully... This is what they eat. So please, I left it all in the back of the anomala. The anomala car is. I can't talk. I'm scatterbrained. I probably really should not be recording. God damn. Like, come on. But I still need a video, so I am going to record. So are you going to eat this? Yes, you do eat that. So let's uh, let's split this into a stack of. Boom! You get that 170, and then. Let's check your stats. I just realized we got a baby sitting here. Yep, you're missing out on stamina. But you are the gen... Uh, technically, I don't have to worry about gender because I, I am willing... I am willing to use... Uh, I'll show you guys that here. I'm also going to start using Anomala Kares to just help me get around in the water. Or I might just go say, screw it. So that little thing I was talking about here was this the mutator now as you can see right now it says send out gender pulse i can 
change the mode so it can also uh, generate random gender for nearby creatures that don't have gender. So say the Oasisaurs. Or grant nearby dinos the ability to breed with... Nor Again, just allows those ones that we just granted genders the ability to breed. And then set imprint of nearby creatures to the player who activated this pulse. So basically, uh, if you... Yeah, that's just to change who's imprinted on it. Stop nearby dinos from aging. Cause nearby non-adult dinos to grow much more rapidly. And send out a radiation pulse to cause nearby adult dinos to lay mutated eggs or give birth to mutate, mutated offspring. I can't talk today again. But yeah, this is a nice little thing. Now, if you guys ever played ASE and had S+, you probably recognize this thing. Because that's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the mutator from S+. Now, mind you, you do have to be like... But, 110 so it's either you collect all the explorer no well you have to get your chibi up all the way beat the overseer on easy or beat the manticore on easy which i'm pretty sure beating the manticore on easy would be the best way to get this or the fastest way to get this so what i'm gonna do now is we're gonna wait hopefully we're gonna get Another good Shastasaur here that I can actually start breeding this one with. And, yeah. Once we do that, we'll get us our good personal one. And we'll then work on getting the saddle for a Shastasaur. Also, another thing I figured I should probably go over here real quick is this little paintbrush. The Dino Painter. Now, that is the reason why my Shastasaur's colors already match. Is that I've taken this dino brush to them and got them the colors i wanted and honestly i just tried to get them to match the colors of the dossier the best i can but yeah this is another mod that i used to do that and uh, yeah that's just what i've been doing here recently and instead of having to spend time breeding them an additional couple extra times to get their colors balanced out i just do it immediately paint them the colors i want and then proceed to let them go you know and get what i need from them now i am waiting on one more shot source still and we got two minutes before this thing's ready to breed again okay so i finally got me two baby shot source that one little itty bitty problem they are both the same gender it's technically not a problem because i just have to pay 25 element to swap one of their genders with that little machine over there and then we are all good I guess the real problem is, is what do I do with these guys now? My full grown adult ones, because, I mean, there's not really much of anything I can leave them out there to die to besides a Mosasaur. And, well, yeah. I guess I could just cryopod them up and throw them down. But that's kind of a waste of a cryopod just to get rid of two creatures. Um, I'll figure this out. But I'm going to try and get these guys fully grown. Hopefully with no problems. We're going to actually swim back down here closer. Do I have that fish meat still on me? Yes, I do. Okay. So we're just going to toss them out like so. And you are going to get half the stack. Please do not eat at all. And then you are going to get half the stack. Guess that you were technically not underwater. Okay. And then you get half of a stack. Now please eat it and do not starve to death on me. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm drowning. So anyways, I'm going to wait for these guys to get fully grown. Then I'll swap the gender on one of them with that little machine. But for now, I'm going to try and just... I think I'm going to just cryopod these guys up and drop them. This is the part where I just pull up Crunchyroll on my phone and get caught up on One Piece. I'm not joking. <laughs> That's what I have been doing for the last 30 minutes, including while... Uh, technically, it's been the last hour, because it was also including while I was trying to get that second one there. I just pulled up my phone, stopped my recording. I was like, all right, I'll just pick it back up when we finally get one. And then, like, after the first episode, it's like, oh, we got one. But, yeah, this, this is the point where I just kind of sit back, make sure they have food, and watch some anime. I might also be looking into crafting a tech suit. 
So, as you can see, I do got a bunch of blueprints. If I go to armor here in tech, can I just craft one? Yes, I could, but I need black pearls. So I'd have to go and harvest, and I just actually... Ah, no, I didn't. I harvested last episode, so this guy, these guys should be full. Yeah, we're good. I need to grab silica pearls. You know what? Nah, I'll I'll just I'll just hold off on that. I don't want to do tech because I'm just quite literally going to be sitting there waiting in the water. That's just going to be wasting element. Okay, so these guys are both almost fully grown now. So what I'm gonna do is run over and craft up the Shasta saddle. So I did end up actually having to go and collect all of my black pearls and pearls just because I needed to get the silica pearls for the components and hopefully hold up. Are the components done? You run in here and check on the fabricator. For some reason I decided to craft them in here and I don't know why. But yeah, I got enough components now for the saddle. And boom, let's craft this up. Where, uh, I have no clue what I just did there. I completely like. What is wrong with me? Yaw. There we go. Again, it's just one of those days where I can't think. But I got me a Shost Source saddle. Now, what we're technically going to do is wait for these guys to be completely grown up. We're going to cryopod one of them up. And what we actually need to do is this right now. So we're going to go grab my mutator. And we're going to go place it directly underneath one of them. And uh, we're going to swap their uh, gender over so that way we can make them breedable. I, I need to quit saying things. Like YouTube definitely has uh, some words flagged for just immediate demonetization. And I'm pretty sure the, yeah, that word, the one I've been saying for creatures is... Uh, is definitely like red flagged to high hell. Okay. So, all right. So you're there. I'm. I'm still good on oxygen. I also just realized this. I picked this thing up, and left every last bit of element on it. On the ground. So I am a genius. I will admit it. A booyah. You know it'd have been even worse is if the bag here filled with element clipped through the ground and just got immediately destroyed and I was not able to get it ever again. Okay, so what we do here, we put the element in the machine and then we check the radius, make sure that this is the only creature in the radius. Where's my Anomalo car is? Anomalo, where are you at? Okay, he's out there. He should be fine. I'll hit the generator pulse and then I'll run and get him. That'll charge up. And then you'll see it here. Boom. Look away. Look away. Oh, I looked at it right as it pulsed. I think that bugged it. Or... He's not technically in the hitbox. Also, I should probably talk into my mic instead of, like, to the side of my mic. But that just wasted 25 element there and did not change your, uh, your stuff. Let's, uh, let's pick you up here. I can't pick you up while that timer's on you. Okay, so... I've gotten everything out of the range of the mutator here. I also increased the range. Hopefully, if I put the element in it and hit change mode and wha-bam. That will hopefully, don't look at it. I know like back in S+, Plus, if you were looking at the creature as you tried to have the machine change it, that sometimes bug it out and it wouldn't change. And there we go. We now have a male Shasta sewer. So let's quickly, I'll just, uh, you know what? No, because I'll forget about it down here. So I'm going to wait for this to be ready to be picked up, and then we'll get to it. And technically, what I can do is, please, for the love of God, let me do this. Ooh, that, and then boom, enable mating. And then we swim over to this guy. I need oxygen. 
That has been my whole day. Like, oh, God, oxygen. Like, every time. And then we turn that on for him. And then you two should now spit me out my perfect Shastasaur. And, yeah, I got to... I gotta run out and get more food, cause uh, you guys, you guys ate through what I gave you, and you don't eat anything else except fish, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, so we just got our baby Shastasaur here out of that little breeding pair there. Now these guys are still going. I found them a little bit of fish. Hopefully that gets them healed up. Now the trick is getting you fed up and raised. I think uh, it's going to take a bit. Do I save that for another episode? Because we're kind of running long here. No, we'll try and get him raised up here for this episode. I'm kind of just going to sit back, get these guys fed up, get him raised up, get him imprinted, and watch some anime like I have been probably doing here for the last two hours now. Okay, so Shastasaur is now 100% imprinted. We're just waiting on him to finish growing up, essentially. Now, he's been doing real good. I've had to do a couple food runs here on the Nomalakar, as I'm pretty sure I have destroyed the Megalodon population here on the center, because uh, I have not been able to find any, and I'm not seeing any. So, yeah, anyways, we're quite literally just now, again, waiting on him to finish growing. Which will be here real soon. I just walked away and died. My whale. <laughs> no. I think my whale's about to eat my body. I walked away and forgot I was in the water and died. I see. I've been scatterbrained all day and I just died to myself. And I'm pretty sure my whale is trying to eat my body. You know what? I walked off, died, and he's still not grown up. Damn. Um, so we'll skip all that stuff. Give me these. I forgot I had my brood mother trophies on me. Cryopods. Do, do, do. I'm just gonna get everything good. Let's just eat this. So I have to go on land to eat it, damn it. Uh, why did I do that? I need an actual rotten fresh. For, did I just say rotten fresh? I did it again! Rotten flesh. I, I forgot my armor. See, I'm having a bad day. I'm just, I'm just scatterbrained. And I'm pretty sure I just took that off the body. Yeah, and I also left the saddle in the body. All right, yeah, we're good. We got everything we needed. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. Hopefully this guy gets done soon. Okay, Shastasaur is now fully raised. Now we can do some fun with him. We can now apply the saddle. And now the saddle is in the ground. Goddamn. Uh, let's swim you forward and up. Do you got a surface swim? How do I go down? Okay. So space toggles free swim. How do I toggle surface swim? I just hit E? I don't know. Well, we're in the submarine. I, it's really not impressive. It's quite literally... I guess this is a little different. I would love one of these. But it just prevents creatures to pass through for the tanks. Like, not the... Was it... The underwater buildings, you know? Uh, I've tried that. You could actually try and make a moon pool. Um, unfortunately, anomala car, my first anomala car has ever swam through it. I will say one thing, you can definitely see a lot more out of this than I thought you would be. Now, how do I do the periscope? That's the sonar. What does that do? Alright, so that's of activate abilities. How do I cycle abilities? Oh, torpedoes. Oh, yeah, if I remember correctly, that's a, I give it rockets. So periscope, how do I use that? Boom, and I was told this works like a tech binoculars? Yes, it does. There's another Shastasaur. Damn. Let's remove the, my body off the map. Um, I can't aim a torpedo right now. 
So let's uh, sonar flashbang. What does this do? We'll look at it. That's a flashbang? That looks more like I just... Maybe like a whale sonar flashbang, but I don't know. I don't know what that was. So pulse. If I recall, this is the one that's supposed to throw people back. Let's try and find some stuff. Ooh, got jellyfish. Oh, this looks awesome looking at the jellyfish right outside the submarine. Now it's technically in the submarine. Alright, let's do this ability. There we go. And see, it launches him back. Launches him a ways back. Damn. Nice part is, as well, is that these Shasta swords are pretty fast as well once you have them saddled. Um, do we have a torpedo, periscope, sonar? Not really much else. So we got melee, which is a left click. We got a front melee. Do we got a back melee? Yes, we do. And it slams its tail. So control periscope. Well, let's quit doing that because I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, toggle periscope control type. Okay, so that's what it means by toggle periscope control type. I don't know. I don't have a left. Actually, I have a left control, but I don't have an ad, so I can't hide that stuff. Also, last time I hid that on ASC, I completely forgot how to get it back. So, I'm going to be full honest with you guys. I've dedicated a lot of time to this episode. And now I'm extremely tired. And I need to go to bed. I'm not, like, joking at all. Like, I'm exhausted for some reason. It's also because I came home right after work and started doing this. And, yeah. But I'm so just glad that we were able to get our own personal Shasta store again. Drop us a name here in the comments for what you guys want this guy to be named. No Moby Dicks. Got it. But anyways, I got to do my outro. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. But anyways, this has been Gun Shamore. Signing off. Peace. <laughs>